that huge break in a cold case terrorizing California for decades. Police say they now have the Golden State Killer in custody. And they use DNA testing to find him. So many families are relieved this morning. The killer accused of murdering at least 12 people, sexually assaulting more than 50. 72-year-old Joseph James D'Angelo, former police officer, family man who is hiding in plain sight in suburban Sacramento. ABC's Whit Johnson is there with new details on this stunning break. Good morning, Whit. George, good morning to you. Absolute shock in this quiet community that the man who terrorized California may have been living right here. The Golden State Killer vanished in the 80s, gone for decades until investigators say a key piece of DNA evidence connected the dots just days ago. The 40 year manhunt for one of the most prolific serial criminals in American history, perhaps coming to an end at this suburban hall. We found the needle in the haystack and it was right here in Sacramento. Police say this man, 72 year old Joseph James D'Angelo is the elusive Golden State Killer. The former police officer allegedly responsible for at least 12 murders, upwards of 50 rapes and more than 100 burglaries in California from 1976 to 1986. D'Angelo's name never coming up in prior investigations, but just six days ago, a critical clue. We started some surveillance we were able to get some discarded DNA, and we were able to confirm what we thought we already knew, that we had our man. D'Angelo seemingly hiding in plain sight, police surprising him and taking him into custody on Tuesday as he was leaving his home. For the 51 ladies who were brutally raped in this crime scene, sleep better tonight. He isn't coming through the window. He's now in jail and he's history. Thank you. D'Angelo's arrest bringing relief to victims and their families. I woke up to a text from a very good friend of mine who said, do you think this is really the guy? And it had an article attached saying that they had somebody, they had made an arrest. And I, I just started shaking. I never in my lifetime expected to see that. Authorities say he worked as an officer at two different police departments until he was reportedly fired in 1979 for shoplifting dog repellent and a hammer. Very possibly he was committing the crimes during the time he was employed as a peace officer. Also known as the original Night Stalker and East Area Rapist, the killer taunted police <laughs> and his victims with phone calls long after the attacks. leaving the entire state on edge. A significant development came in the mid 90s. DNA testing connecting the puzzle pieces to one unknown person. Crime writer Michelle McNamara, who coined the phrase the Golden State Killer, made it her life's work to hunt him down. She discussed the serial killer in an interview with filmmaker Cameron Cloutier. I'm very struck by that people did not call out, you know, that there was a weird guy hanging around. So he had to. Right to fit in. Um, but on the other hand, it's just the level of violence mm -hmm. is so extreme. McNamara died in 2016, but with the help of her researchers and husband, comedian Patton Oswalt, her book, I'll Be Gone in the Dark, was completed and released in February. It debuted at number one on the New York Times bestseller list, sparking national interest in the case. You did it, Michelle, even though the cops are never going to say it, but your book helped get this thing closed. And charges against D'Angelo continue to pile up. Prosecutors believe that key piece of DNA evidence will link him to perhaps dozens of crimes spanning 10 counties. They're promising more charges in the coming days. Robin? We're going to talk more about that, Wit. Thank you with Sacramento District Attorney Anne Marie Schubert, who joins us live this morning. What a relief. So many people relieved waking up this morning. And we know that this case has been cold for decades, and D'Angelo's name didn't even surface until just six days ago, is that right? That's correct, that's correct. And the discarded DNA, it didn't come from a tip from coming into your office, so tell us a little bit more about the discarded DNA and how that was the key. Well, as we said yesterday, this case was really solved through some innovative DNA techniques, and so as a result of that, um, that led to law enforcement essentially, as the sheriff said yesterday, surveilling him and obtaining a sample 
of abandoned or discarded DNA, and from there we moved forward and they did additional testing, and that was ultimately what what solved this case. My goodness. Uh, we know that he was once married. He was a police officer, an officer at the time of the crimes. Um, when, you, when you look at grown children, when you, how does he fit the, the profile that investigators were working with at the time? Well, he was never on a list, so now we're at a point now, as I said yesterday, this is like lightning speed, so everything is now trying, it's an active investigation, but um, I think all those, those answers are going to be filled in over time, though. Uh, it is an active investigation, we appreciate you sharing as much as you are, and we heard in the report, um, as right now he's been charged with the first two known killings in the so-called Golden State killing. Uh, how, how many more do you suspect? And we know that the last killing was in 1986, but will he possibly look, back, look to for, for other cases since that time? Yeah, they'll absolutely look for additional cases. What we know now is that he's responsible for at least 12, perhaps 13. He, I, I'm fully confident he will be charged with additional counts of murder because he's linked by DNA to several other murders, including Orange County. And, Maurice, and Santa Barbara you, County. And Santa Barbara County. Uh, Ma'am, what, what do you want to say to people about the, the work that went into this? And even though it was decades old, that, the, that your office and everyone was not going to let this go unsolved. Well, it's all about passion and persistence and ultimately about DNA. And I've always believed that DNA is a silent witness to the truth. And mm. that truth may have been quieted for 40-something years, but we're now here and uh, we have the answer. We appreciate your work very much. Anne-Marie Schubert, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.